Hello YouTube and welcome to Snooker Stars Challenge 20. Uh, as you can see, this is not me on a real table. This is the game. Um, of late, I've been struggling with queuing and probably a bit of confidence. So, yeah, where I've been getting breaks of 20s, 30s and 40s, I haven't got the 55 needed to pass it. So, I thought I'd have a, another go at this to see if I could get a recording of a half decent break to keep the little series going. Um, I will get back on the table and I will get a break of 55, but yeah, not sure how long that one's going to take me. Um, yeah, I like to try and play this game as accurately as I would normally play. So the shots you'll see are shots that I would attempt um on a real table whether they go right or not i don't know but uh shots like that one off the black for this red playing it the reverse side i would play that one i don't know whether i get it or not and this one playing with loads of sides to get back down for the black again that is something i would do um, you will also see shots that go mm, not quite right on here which again is pretty much exactly what i would do on a real table. And there's the first example. So I've managed to <clears throat> excuse me get low on that black whereas I was trying to stay straight for an easy screw onto the next red. But using the pack to hold the white it's now a fairly simple shot, just make sure I get through, as I get through the ball, um, make sure I hit the ball hard enough on that one to get down to the black, uh, which is just off straight. So as long as I can have a choice of two reds, like the one above the black spot or this one. So I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Here, this is going to be round the black off the cushion to on it nicely so that the red didn't come into the equation of snookering behind it. So this black to pass the challenge. Three. Um, I have had a maximum on this one before so as I said so let's see if we can let's see if we can get anywhere close to that. It would be nice to get a century which that bit shouldn't be too difficult but getting the max is always challenging especially from here where I've left myself dead straight on the black but the red at the bottom here is what we call sort of a hover red from this side anyway so if I play it hard enough then I can release another couple of balls which is how that one's panned out Should be straightforward to stay on the black here as long as I don't over hit this. So playing for that loose one above the black spot. Just to make some room for more manoeuvring if I should need it in the next few shots so what we're going to try here this one try and get to the red that's near the other side cushion either move it get on it or something but didn't do either of those things uh, so but we've landed on this red so taking this one does release the two in the middle of the table And finished on the black quite nicely for a screw shot on and off the cushion. But hit into the red, which is not clever. Uh, this for me, if I'm playing this one on a real table, this is, I don't think this is even a 1 in 10 shot. This is probably 1 in 15. But it goes in and we stay on the black.
So as long as I get high on this one, I have half a chance of staying on the black. So two stars for reference is mm, 103 points, 102 maybe. Uh, when I get to the real table, um, if I can get that, I will be, well, I'll be amazed. But as we've had 14 reds and 14 blacks, it seems silly not to stay on it rather than taking an easier pink. And just keep the white away from the black. Make sure I leave some sort of angle to go up the table. Now white's going to be going close to the middle of this. That's worked out nicely. And uh, just a sort of straightforward colours clearance to finish. Hopefully. But I really do wish on uh, on my table that I could have these sort of aiming lines. It would make life <laughs> so much easier. So two balls to go, can't see me missing either of those two, so there's the first one. So according to this clock, that's four minutes and 19 seconds for a maxi. Um, but it doesn't include walking around the table time or anything, it's just how long it takes you to play your shots. Um, I would... Well, I'd be falling over with myself if I uh, if I ever did hit this sort of break. So, as I said before, I will get back on the table and I will get at least a break of 55. So I can move on to the next one. But thanks for staying with us on here. And I will see you hopefully once this one is completed. Take care.